and that leaves my last video with the big one from South America, played in Madrid, the Copa Libertadores final. Uh, and what a final it was, I gotta say. Uh, first off, uh, choosing Madrid was probably not a bad choice, um, as the most Argentinians in Europe are living there. Um, and it also allowed that you have both sets of spectators in there. Um, however, the stadium was not full. That was to me the almost the biggest disappointment. The game itself, I honestly have to say, watching if you watch a lot of uh, European uh, soccer and Champions League, uh, South America is a little bit more frantic. There's a lot of hard work put into it. Um, but not much tactically now, and also I have to say, you can see that they're not as, uh, that those teams are not as good, and uh, whoever won, it was clear, even Real Madrid at its worst should beat both sides kind of easily, I'm afraid to say. However, it made for a good game, I mean, it was frantic, it was a lot of, um, yeah, Frantic, but not with big chances. I mean, in the first half, I thought Boca had the better of the of the game. Um, they had a free kick that yeah, you could you, you can, 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 can do better. They had a few uh, chances where they probably should have connected. Um, and in the for, um, 44th, Benedetto, after a great pass by Nandes from uh, midfield, a very uh, vertically pass. Uh, rounds the goalkeeper makes it 1-0 um, and it was a deserved lead at that point I think there was not much coming from Riva actually if Boca would have been up by two uh, no one would have complained honestly however something happened in the second half because suddenly it was uh, Riva who had the better of the game and got better into the game uh, and while Boca was kind of sitting back maybe a little bit too much uh, I don't know what happened, but the game a little bit turned on its head. And Riva had already a good chance uh, early in the first, uh, second half. They probably should have gotten a penalty, which despite VAR was not given. And I felt that the referee is a little bit uh, not having that much control of the game. But fortunately, the players kept it together. And then Parato makes, after a wonderful move, uh, via, I think Fernandez uh, makes a wonderful goal uh, to make it 1-1. Um, and the game continued a little bit that way. I thought that Boca then had, towards the end, again a little bit the better of it, uh, but not being very convincing going forward. They had an indirect free kick in the, in the penalty box of a river. They had another free kick that similarly was headed away. Um, not, but it was not with uh, the pressure that I would expect. And going into overtime, immediately happened the, the worst case scenario for Boca Barrios. He sent off with a yellow and red. Uh, and you had already a captain taken off. And I felt that Boca is uh, not having the best physical condition. There were cramps all over. I mean, it went into all overtime, and I mean, there were players cramping all over. I've never seen anything like that. I mean, this is a game played in December. If this is played in the summer heat at uh, the World Cup, I can understand it more. But I really didn't un understand that there are so many players cramping all over. Maybe they're really working very hard, put a lot of effort in there, uh, but in a way to no effect. Boca needed to just get out of the first half of overtime a little bit because River was dominating them and then it paid off I mean Quintero who came on made a wonderful goal I mean all three goals that were scored I didn't say that the game wasn't uh, that game wasn't great but the three goals were wonderful Quintero an absolute laser under the bar puts it in 2-1 River and you think that River should have uh, has won it um, Boca puts everything forward and five minutes before the end uh, the goalkeeper comes out and almost makes something. Gago, who came on, uh, has a great chance, great shot. I think it was slightly, slightly deflected. Uh, that could have made it 2-2. Uh, but 
still, River had the better of the game. Uh, still, River was the dumb doll, the dumb inside, but couldn't just yet put it away. Boca desperately tries something, but then Gago has to go so, uh, with an injury. Didn't seem right. Tevez comes on and was a non factor, absolutely a non factor. It was actually amazing to see how little he, 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 he contributed. And I had the feeling that uh, as soon as in the um, second half, when Benedetto came off, Boca came off the rails. Uh, they were trying, but at that point, then River had the better of the game. Uh, still, Boca mentioned the 120th to hit the post. <laughs> I was more for Boca. Um, not that I care too much, but I think Boca is. The t I, I said it before, Boca is my team. And then corner kick. Uh, ev everyone tries to get the last uh, shot in, but yeah, the goalkeeper is also in, in the in the box, and the River can run to the empty goal, and Martinez makes it three-one for River. They win the game that I thought they could not win. I really thought the way the refereeing was going, and not that I, I mind, didn't mind, but I really had had that had, had feeling the referee was making calls more towards Boca's end than towards River's end. And that was very interesting to see. Um, I had the feeling that there was some collusion against River. But River wins it. And they can now claim that, well, they have only four Coppas, uh, took um, Boca six, but in the one final against each other, River won it. And that's bragging rights. I hope everything in Buenos Aires stayed calm, no big fights or whatever, because you never know. But yeah, uh, it was definitely an in interesting game. I was glad I watched that one over uh, Milan Torino, because I would have lost a lot more hair. Well, still have quite some hair in that game. Well, let me know what you thought about the Copa Libertadores final, if you watched it. Would like to hear your thoughts. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.